Listen, don't get me wrong. I understand. I did say that I was going to be consistent with uploads, but life happens. But I'll spare you the boring story as to what happened, and we're just going to get back into it. I understand. You miss me, and I miss you too. Now let's go. Seems as though we're going to be reacting to another conversation about body count. This one should be fun. Can I say something? Sure. I think it's like an energetic connection. Like when you're hooking up with someone, you either like energetically have a connection with them or you don't. That's like yeah. why you're like kiss with your eyes closed yeah. and stuff. You could like feel their if energy. If I have like bad sex, it's done that night. Like, yeah. Never seen but it also again. like with that being said, I don't think it's about the number. I think it's about the ratio. Like certain people have certain a lot of, some people just everyone wants to f them. And if they've f a hundred people and seven thousand people wanted to f them, that's like a pretty low ratio. If you live in the middle of nowhere, no one really wants to f you, you're not that good looking, and you slept with ten people, that's like kind of a big deal. Maybe only ten people wanted to f you in your whole life and you f all of them. Like I think it's about the ratio, not the number. <laughs> Right from the bat, I believe that Blondie on the panel is making the argument for body count not mattering, and she's applying some sort of mathematical formula to justify um, promiscuity. It should be fun. Let's continue. Can we? Is it, what is? Is this like home <laughs> math? I'm just trying to. I'm just saying, like it's about like the ratio. Like, I like it this perspective. And I think when she says ratio, from my understanding of what she's trying to explain, she means to say percentage if your body count percentage is low i think that's what she's trying to get at then it shouldn't be a problem but she can't find the right words to explain what it is that she's defending it depends <laughs> where you live it totally depends in the city if you go out how you look like if everyone like that if you're going to the pool and you look a certain way and everyone wants to f you and you're well, what's having to everyone and you're not a slot but yeah. if like I don't know, you don't look a certain way, you don't go out. 10 people want to fuck you and you fuck all of them. 10 sounds like a low number compared to 50, but if out of 1,000, 50 is not that big. It's hard for me to keep track Wait, of the math here, Isabella. It's the ratio. Wait, I'm it's guessing the ratio. confused, like, the difference between, like, ratio and, like, body count. Are you saying they're two separate things? Or yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're not separate things. I don't think she understands that it is not separate things. Whatever it is that she's trying to explain, it is all down to body count. I'm saying body count doesn't matter. It's the ratio to body count. It's about the opportunities. Yeah, opportunities versus the body. So, but to an extent, I can agree with her when she says that body count does not matter. Obviously, that depends on whether you want to settle and have a good relationship with a great individual or not. If that is not the goal, then you should continue to live your life, sleep with whoever you want, and it does not matter. But the moment you decide to settle... You, the moment you decide that you want a good marriage and you want a high quality individual, which is something I believe that the ladies on the panel are going to want eventually somewhere along the, the, their lives, it becomes a problem. Your promiscuous past puts in jeopardy the trust that that person can install in you, the exclusivity, exclusivity that that person would want from you. All of that is compromised by your promiscuous past and your past outlines the outlines the patterns of your behavior so if you've engaged in it be before who's there to say that you won't engage in it again because it is something that you're accustomed to doing so you probably don't see the wrong in doing it so a high quality individual will not want to waste his or her time with you because they have standards and promiscuity of course is not a part of those standards like if we both had like a hundred guys wanting to f us <laughs> <laughs> no wait no like if you had a hundred and i had like a thousand it's hard to it would be so different based on the ratio have, yeah you know? but, so it's so about how many opportunities you took now, technically can i you said something about energy a transfer yeah, of energy yeah. is it is it fair to say that we all agree there's something that's spiritual happening? Yeah, oh yeah yeah okay. and and we all acknowledge that the higher your body count the harder it becomes to pair bond down the road no, because I'm saying it's about the ratio. No, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about But what if you already bond with someone and then yeah. you guys decide together that you guys can go sleep with other people? And I think it doesn't. I think it'll it, hurt it adds the bond. to your connection. I think it takes yeah. away. The, I think the it will hurt says the bond that, yeah, it hurts long term. The bond long term. Hmm. 
it does hurt the bond and I'm going to use an example and it is not to say that I am comparing sex to Wi-Fi but we all have Wi-Fi you're probably using Wi-Fi to watch this reaction and the more people that connect to your Wi-Fi the slower it becomes so on the connection side it is always affected it is always jeopardized it is not going to get things done <clears throat> in the manner you wish it to get done or in the speed that you wish it to get done so exclusivity is the only way to maintain that chemistry to maintain that bond once there's too many parties involved the connection starts to dampen you get what i'm trying to say once again not comparing sex to wi-fi but that's the best example i could find i think you guys understand <laughs> bigger than the data i have a question when it comes to like because you mentioned your parents and what's your what do you what's your sort of sense of how you plan to talk to your kid your child or i think you said you want to have more kids which is awesome what is your sense of how to communicate like your profession and your work to your kids i mean i think there's a time when your kid is mature to have the conversation about like well this is you know entertainment and the same way you would describe any entertainment and we are just entertainer to entertainers in this entertainment business and everything like i don't feel like we're doing anything unethical by having mm -hmm. sex filming it and selling it legally and then paying a shit ton of taxes on all of that like there is nothing wrong with that to me and like um i would when she's mature enough just explain that to her i don't know yeah i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with two adults agreeing to participate in a sex act off camera or on camera and i don't think there's anything wrong with somebody starting and running a business in which they sell a product to people who want to purchase it that part i agree with with what he just said at the end there before i stopped the video and he mentioned that there's nothing wrong with adults um developing a product and presenting it to the masses because of course there are people that consume the line of product that they produce there's nothing wrong with that at all but <clears throat> i'm a consumer you're at home you're a consumer and most of the products we consume have labels on they have warning signs and they have ingredients so you can look at the data and decide whether it is good for you or not if you want to continue to use where the problem comes in with the line of product they serve it has no warning signs and everyone has access to it we're living in an era where access to internet is easy for everyone and i mean everyone from a young child to adults everyone can access that and there's no warning signs and studies have shown that there are negative effects from consuming the product lines that they produce so i'm thinking more on i'm thinking more about the kids that consume this kind of content they're online you do not know what they're doing and bam all of a the sudden they come across such content you have to be aware of the damages that occurs while consuming that content over long periods of time especially if it's a kid if it develops all the way to adulthood there are repercussions they're gonna face so it's not a thing that we can completely extract the kids from as she mentioned that she would wait until she's an adult or at least mature enough to have the conversation with her she could get a hand the her child could get the hand or her hands on the product before she's even an adult before she's even aware of what is going on and force that conversation so i believe that there should be a warning sign there should be labels and telling you that listen if you consume this kind of product this is what could happen and then you have your own free will you make your own choice whether you want to consume the product or not so i have no qualms about doing but i also like i kind of notice that this always happens where people sort of lay out the terms of our relationship or acknowledge mm -hmm. that you know we're in a relationship that's a little non-traditional and like especially in our case we're not really a, a polyamorous couple per se because you know compare us to like destiny and his girl mm -hmm. where he has full on sexual relationships with other girls and I guess she knows about it, but you know, that's a separate thing. And then, you know, vice versa, she sleeps with other guys. Um, that's kind of like a more extreme version of what we have going where it's more of just like an on camera thing. You know, we almost never in the past like three, four years have really hooked up with anybody off camera. Mm -hmm. Not that we have anything against it. It just hasn't really, it, it just, it's primarily a work thing from our perspective. But what people always do is that once we sort of laid that out and everybody seems to be in agreement that there's nothing that you can really say is wrong with two adults engaging in whatever kind of acts they want to engage in, it just instantly becomes about the kid mm -hmm. because there's something inherently uncomfortable about 
us having the careers that we have and then also having kids now we know a ton of porn stars who basically hide their kids away from the world and nobody knows that they have kids and given the amount of like intense scrutiny that we've gotten over the past couple of months i can kind of understand that we've stopped mm-hmm. posting our kids face on social media and stuff like that just because we don't really want her to have a a life that is so defined by what her parents did for a living but i mean i i say all that just to say that i feel like the argument against people engaging in sort of non-traditional relationships is kind of weak if you have to instantly pivot into like well what about the kids yeah and there i think you always have to mention the kids due to the effects that the product lines they sell can cause <clears throat> there's stu- there's studies that show that your arousal could be triggered or is triggered begins to be triggered by watching two individuals um, engage in sexual intercourse rather than yourself engaging in sexual intercourse and that is detrimental that is a problem that is a psychological problem that can develop within a child that can get access to such content so you cannot have this discussion and separate the kids from it you have to talk about the kids i think uh there's a design of how we were created to function in a one man one woman covenantal arrangement now i think everything outside of that is unhelpful Mm -hmm. and i think there is something wrong with i think it's a total net negative to society i'm not sure how many of you guys is like fans that watch you regularly you've met in person uh and and how this affects them but i mean andrew uh, huberman did a whole long thing about what happens when someone consumes masturbates they open up a Mm -hmm. feedback loop that's intended to be consumed with someone else so i think it's very hard to make the argument that is helping people as much as it's harming people. It's keeping a lot of these guys regressed. It's keeping, I mean, the incel community, the red pill stuff. A lot of the people that rail against you guys probably secretly go and watch this stuff, which is a mm-hmm. really bizarre thing we've seen it with the fresh and fit girls. So I, I don't know if, as a net positive, this is something, remove the kids. Mm-hmm. Like, this is something that you think is actually adding to human flourishing. But I, everyone. Once again, I don't think you can remove the kids from it. Um, And it was very well spoken from that individual. But just to say that as an adult, you are allowed to make your own choices. But once it begins to, or once once it falls into the category of selling a product, we need to start following ethical guidelines. As I mentioned before, products come with warnings. Warnings, example, cigarette, smoking is dangerous or causes cancer. I'm sure certain boxes have that on it. People still decide to smoke, but the warning is there. So with their line of product, there's no warning, there's no labels. But we are aware of the study, so I believe that that's one thing that needs to change because there's nothing wrong with two grown adults consenting to recording whatever it is that they, they're, they're doing in their sexual life and putting it online and selling it. There's nothing wrong. But I believe that soon it, so as soon as it becomes a product, there needs to be guidelines to be followed so that people are aware it's just a problem of ethics in the end. I still believe that it is completely wrong, but then again, there are consenting adults and anyone is allowed to do whatever it is that they choose to do. And I think we'll stop here for now. I believe that I'm a little bit rusty. It is what it is, but we're going to continue. We're going to keep these coming. I'm not going to make any promises to say that I'm going to constantly be uploading. I'll do my best. So I have a question for you guys. What do you guys think about body count? Is it a big thing or it is not or is it not? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and the whole nine. Peace. Yeah, hey, Tony Franco, it's a wave.